Today, uh, we'd like to draw your attention to repeated and continuing violence in our neighborhood, particularly Bangladesh, where uh, post-election in Bangladesh, there has been a series of uh, targeted violence hitting at the minority Hindu communities, some of which got uh, covered in our, uh, the print media. Uh, some also have had uh, the web-based newspapers, portals carrying it in India. Uh, I've just had a few of them uh, printed out for all our uh, attention. It's very worrying that the instability post the elections in Bangladesh which I understand and appreciate completely is a complete internal matter, domestic matter of Bangladesh. But the BJP would like to voice its concern that as a result of targeted violence, minority Hindu community in Bangladesh, particularly in Hindu dominated localities and areas, districts have all been named clearly, uh, Thakur Gaon, Jessore district, district again uh, of Chittagong, where considerable number of Hindus are still living and their houses have been burnt, their uh, assets have been completely destroyed, women have been targeted. Uh, the instability post elections as a result of the violence which has prevailed in those areas are very, very concerning. The instability largely is concerning because we want the region to remain in uh, peace and harmony so that uh, a strengthened democracy will help in all the states around us, whether it's Bangladesh or in Pakistan. Uh, and we hope and wish stability comes through so that all citizens are taken care of. We certainly are voicing our concern about the minority uh, community which is being targeted for of attack. They are the targets of attack and therefore we voice our concern, fully appreciating again that it is a completely internal matter of Bangladesh. However, attacks are worrying and we would like to record our concern on it. Because um, similar concerns, particularly targeting of women, um, forcefully converting them through rapes and uh, through also torture, has been repeatedly reported by the local media also in Pakistan. Because in the last uh, two, three years, continuous uh, reporting is coming out of such targeted attack on women also in Pakistan, which again is an internal matter, all right, but minority Hindu women are being forced to convert is a matter of serious concern, a violation of human rights, which we from the BJP will certainly like to uh, voice a concern about, and I'm sure the Indian external affairs authorities would also take that in uh, their uh, cognizance and uh, pursue it appropriately in the diplomatic channels. The next issue is about the way in which uh, what I would think uh, a irresponsible comment made by a senior leader of uh, Ahmadmi party, a, a comment which has been roundly, squarely condemned but has unfortunately created an environment where Kashmir has unnecessarily been brought in for discussion which uh, was not going to help the cause at all. And you saw that leaders belonging to various political parties have taken it up, have voiced their concerns on it. And the BJP repeatedly has been saying that this is a matter which I think government of the day together with the political parties will have to look at it in a far more sensitive matter, manner then uh, have a complaint uh, um, or have a statement made in such a way uh, which has unnecessarily uh, brought the issue from a dimension which was not absolutely required. We remind that uh, issues like Jammu and Kashmir which are very core uh, subjects of uh, Indian uh, political uh, you know, discourse will have to be handled with greater sensitivity. Um, I had, I had uh, on behalf of the BJP, mentioned uh, how we looked at the attack on uh, the Ahmadmi Party's office this morning. 
uh, we, I repeat my line that it is uh, condemned, we be, from the BJP condemn the attack and think it is nobody's business to take law into their hands to hit at anyone. Political ideas will have to be fought politically and we will engage with uh, discourses. Uh, but again, I repeat, um, uh, for want of better words, if it was irresponsible of these people to have attacked the office uh, for something which has been uh, politically taken up by all of us, uh, it's unfortunate that it was equally irresponsible to divide the country. You don't want to break the country, just as we don't want anybody to break anybody's offices. So uh, I underline that the attack uh, of the ARP office was condemnable. Nobody has a business to take law in their hands. And we do not in any way approve of this attack. We in fact disapprove it, we condemn it. Thank you. Amadmi Party ke upar jo attack hua hai, usko hamari taraf se Bharti Janta Party ke taraf se kal aaj subay bhi hum condemn kar diya hai. Main us line ko dora rahi hu. किसी के हाथ में कानून को लेते हुए दूसरे के ऊपर अटैक करना अच्छा नहीं है और हम उसको खंडन करते हैं तोड़-पोड़ के राजनीति नहीं चलती है और हम उसके समर्थन में नहीं हैं इसीलिए उसको खंडन करते हैं मगर वैसे ही भारत देश को तोड़-पोड़ करना और तोड़-पोड़ करने जैसे बातों करना be which it nahi hai. Prashant Bhushan is a very, very senior and learned advocate of the Supreme Court. I would actually want to repeat some of his, or repeat his line. I think the whole country has got scared of what he said on Kashmir. The whole country is now scared of what he said about Kashmir. That's not the stated line of this country. The parliamentary resolution of February 1994 is something which all of us hold very dear. And if anything, Prashant Bhushanji should know that the whole country is wary of what he said on Kashmir. And if anything, we are scared of what he has said. He is worried about his office getting thrashed up and broken into pieces, which we don't approve at all. But we are worried that the statement that he made, probably, eventually, God forbid, leads to a path which will break India. So I think all of us are more scared of the kind of comments he's made, particularly on Kashmir. Less worrying is about who's worried about to hop. He coal blocks ke allocation ke upar jo FIR aaj dakhil hui hai uske bare mein aap zikr kar rahe hain cancellation ke bare mein aap utha rahe hain isme ek baat bahut hi important hai jo hum bhulna nahi chahiye ki isme mantri jo responsible the allocation ka usse us mantri gan se jo bharat desh ke pradhan mantri hain aaj unse ek bar kam se kam puchtach hui hai kya FIR जो हो रही है, ठीक है होने दीजिए, CBI तो आगे बढ़ना चाहिए, वो केज पैरेट रहना नहीं चाहिए, इसीलिए FIR फाइल दर्ज करेंगे। मगर CBI से हम पूछ रहे हैं कि क्यों मंत्री जी जो उसका आवंटन का ऑर्डर दिया है आखिर उनसे क्यों पूछताछ नहीं हो रही है? वो है महत्वपूर्ण बात है। उसके बाद आएगा क्या सबका कैंसलेशन होना चाहिए, किन किन के ऊपर FIR फाइल करना चाहिए, पूरे कहानी हम सुनना चाहिए ना? CBI के द्वारा पूरे कहानी जैसे आबंटन हुआ क्या का क्या था बेसिस और 
किन किन बेसिस के ऊपर अलोकेशन हुआ इन सब के ऊपर इंटरोगेशन कम्प्लीटली हो गया है क्या सी से हम ये पूछना चाहते हैं Well, at the moment, BJP is talking about whole lot of development, governance-related issues. There is nothing for me to talk about on alliance, and whether it is expected is also not something on which I would like to engage in. If there is anything, they'll say, but I'm not suggesting there is something. as regards discussion on reforming tax structure the bjp is of course seriously talking a lot of things hearing a lot of inputs inviting and speaking and hearing people who are doing presentations they are all discussions which are going on in the party nothing specifically has been taken up as yet and no finalized opinion has been uh, concretized whether for the vision document 2025 or for the manifesto no final word has been reached on it of course discussions are happening seriously to use your word um i think it is important for political parties particularly those who are in power to remember that media is a part of the democratic process they are certainly going to keep a very keen eye on everything that we do and that is only better for the democracy there is no point in threatening them if anything all of us are in a um, stage in indian democracy where we have to be as much as possible giving answers to the questions being raised in public interest आप दो विषय को जोड़ रहे हैं इसमें मैं ये मानती हूं कि उधर असेंबली के स्पीकर और गवर्नमेंट जरूर इसके ऊपर उनके अपने राय देना चाहिए कि ये क्या इस ट्रिप जो जा रहे हैं विधायक और कैबिनेट कैबिनेट मंत्रीगण के साथ वो जरूर है जरूरी है कि नहीं ये तो उनके अपने असेंबली का प्रिवलेजेस के बाद है सो लेट दम आंसर ऑन इट मगर एज रिगार्ड्स मुसफ़रनगर और द रिलीफ कैंप्स मुझे याद याद ज़रूर आती है कि कम से कम 2010 तक 2002 से लेकर के 10 2010 तक गुजरात की रिलीफ कैंप्स के ऊपर बार बार प्रश्न पूछा गया था कि कितने लोग हैं रह रहे हैं नहीं रह रहे हैं उनको क्या मिला क्या नहीं मिला और उस कैंप को क्यों हटा रहे हो ये सब प्रश्नों को गुजरात गवर्नमेंट हर बार जवाब देते रही जवाब जरूर देते रही और कैंप्स आठ साल के बाद भी कई बार छोटे छोटे हिस्सों पर जहां भी था वो चलते रहे मैं इस बात में इसीलिए इसको अभी उठा रही हूँ इस बात में इसीलिए आ रही हूँ कि सरकार जहाँ की विच एवर प्लेस इट बिलोंग्स टू दे हैव टू आंसर और मुसफ़रनगर के रिलीफ कैंप्स के हालात के ऊपर अगर मीडिया प्रश्न उठाते हैं बीजेपी नहीं समाजवादी पार्टी जो सरकार में है उत्तर प्रदेश में वो ज़रूर आंसर देना चाहिए जैसे गुजरात के दंदों के ऊपर आज भी भाजपा आंसर देते रही और देना आवश्यक भी है
Um, the description you have given about BJP bringing some party and therefore somebody else not wanting to be with us, I have no knowledge on any of these developments. So actually what I would like to tell you here is if there is anything at all in terms of alliance, alliance related talks or if there is anything concretely happening in that direction just as on Andhra Pradesh I was asked a question about alliance, there is nothing for us to report either on Andhra Pradesh or on Tamil Nadu. If there is anything at all we will let you know. एक गुरु उनके शिष्य को कुछ सुझाव दे रहे हैं बीच में बीजेपी कहाँ आती है उधर केजरीवाल जी भी माना है ऐसे publicly if I if I remember correct that he is our guru so I am only quoting his words नहीं गुरु और शिष्य के रिलेशनशिप के ऊपर मैं कैसे बात करूं क्योंकि हर एक उनके अपने गुरु को कैसे हैंडल करते हैं वो उनके अपने मर्जी उसमें हम आना नहीं है ना हाँ जी यूपी सरकार से पूछने वाले प्रश्न है हम भी आपके साथ खड़े होकर के इस प्रश्न को पूछेंगे मैं यही बहुत बोल रही हूं कि मीडिया आज आज नहीं है डेमोक्रेसी में मीडिया का रोल बहुत महत्वपूर्ण और जब मीडिया पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज और उनके एक्टिविटीज के ऊपर ध्यान रखते हैं पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट में रखते हैं इसको हम उनके अपने स्थान से जो प्रश्न वो पूछते हैं उनको सही जवाब देते रहना चाहिए सही जितना तक हो पाएगा आप जवाब देते रहना चाहिए इसीलिए मैं मानती हूँ जिम्मेदारी बनती है हर एक पॉलिटिकल पार्टी का मीडिया के प्रश्न से डर के भागना नहीं है जैसे बीजेपी करती है बिल्कुल सामना करना और जवाब भी देना है आई एम हैप्पी BJP never runs away from media. We are always available. Or definitely, our answer will be given. Whether you are convinced or not convinced, we are ready to give you the answer. I believe that every political party should be ready. Thank you.